Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome to 9th and 10th channel of Baijus. I'm your teacher Ankita and I welcome you all in today's class where we will be taking a look at the very very interesting chapter from class 9th political science and the name of the chapter is working of institution it's a very easy chapter i would say so everyone please make sure you stay with us till the end we will be mastering this chapter today so i hope that all of you are ready good evening everyone i welcome you all in the class i hope that i'm clearly audible and visible to each one of you yes good evening everyone good evening good evening how are you all how was your weekend good very good very good but before we start the class everyone i would request all of you to have your notebook your pencil write your water bottle and everything with you so that you can you know if you have to note down any important things you can definitely note down you should be sitting with your ncert textbook and a pencil so that you can mark the important points if you don't want to write yes everyone good evening okay so i hope that all of you are ready yes very very ready okay uh this class will be there for one hour right we will will keep a target we'll keep a target of one hour yes oh really yeah after a long time <laughs> okay so are we ready everyone right so in this particular chapter working of the institution we will be taking a look at the four important topics that we have First, of course, we'll be talking about the introduction of the chapter where we have the Mandal Commission. Then we'll be taking a look at the legislature, executive, and the judiciary. Very, very interesting uh, topic, everyone, and whole chapter. So, if have to sum it up, right? You know, this whole chapter is a kind of a brief summary of the things that you have studied in class six, seventh, and eighth. I am sure all of you in your class six have studied about our parliament. i'm sure all of you in class 8th and 7th have discussed about okay uh, how many members we have in lok sabha rajya sabha what is the role of the chief minister what is the role of a president and what is the role of prime minister right i'm sure all of you can recall those things yes yes it's very easy it's very easy bachche right i'm sure you all have studied that we will be recapping it we'll be revisiting this particular topic right it's very easy don't don't worry about it. even if you have forgotten about it it's okay we will we will read on today yes we will do that so i hope that all of you are ready chaliye so let me start the class everyone by asking you these two questions do these institute work in isolation or what happens if there is a disagreement let me ask start with this right So everyone, we have, uh, we have, we basically we can say that we kind of aware about that we have these many institute, right? We all know that we have legislature, we have executive, and we have judiciary. Basically, the there's a distribution in the power. Yes or no? In the first chapter, everyone of the power sharing. Oh, sorry, that's uh, sorry. In the first chapter, right in our class uh, in class nine, we all have studied about it, right? We have an understanding about okay, we have different types of government. there is a sharing of the power altogether vertical horizontal and sure all of you remember in class 8 we have studied yes so adding on to that if i have to ask you do you think that these institution work in isolation is it that that the judiciary department will say you know what i will just work for the judiciary part i don't know what is happening in legislative or the executive or do you think that the uh, legislature will say you know i am the one who will be making and doing everything i don't need help from the executive and the judiciary what do you think about it yes we all know that these all institute that we have in our country work together right they work together and if they are not working together it will be very difficult so we will be looking into these things right and we will be looking if what will happen if there is a disagreement also give me a little answer your question give me a minute okay chaliye so everyone let's start with the first topic that we have of the mandal commission so here everyone in this uh, particular part right in your textbook they have mentioned about this i'm sure all of you have your textbook with you i'm sure you will be able to see that right there is a circular on a circular we have a sign of the individual right and of course a circular was about that 27 percentage of the reservation for socially and educationally backward classes in a civil post and services 
so basically the circular talks about giving right giving the 27th percentage of the re reservation to socially and to educationally backward class in the civil services that was a circular all about so this particular circular seems very simple right aisa lag raha hai ki normal page ka tukda hai government usually have so many circulars which they uh, send on a daily basis but this was a very very important one and this created a lots and lots of revel in the water all together so let's talk about it everyone this is dated in the 1990 before we get, go into the detail of this everyone we have to understand the history acha kisko history pasand hai you be like ma'am paul science may be history unfortunately yes yes everyone so if we talk about right this is the time right we don't have menti today we don't have menti right but everyone please do pay attention very very important chapter we have today so this starts right uh, it start from the mandal commission so during the time in the year 1979 morayji desai government actually formed this commission mandal commission so that they can identify what the government can do for the socially and educationally backward class so it was the intent of the government right they thought that they want to do something for the uh, for these people and they formed the commission which is the mandal commission after lots and lots of research after lot of lot of studies right they came to a conclusion the mandal commission came to a conclusion that they said that we should have reservation for the people in the civil services everyone are we clear up to this yes ayush i'm just explaining that the aim the aim was to find what the government can do right to provide the equal opportunity to the socially or to educational backward backward class right so what happened in the year 1990 we saw that this circular came but it came after all years of years and of wait right we can see it was made this commission was made in 1979 कितने साल बंद पुराना हो चुका था ये बना हुआ राइट दिस कमीशन वॉज फॉर्म इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन एंड नाउ इट केम इन टू दिक्चर इन टू दिटी साल लग गए बीच में सो लेट्स टॉक मोर अबाउट इट एवरी वन इफ यू पे अटेंशन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड आई वु रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू स्टे फोकस इन द क्लास एंड प्लीज डू नॉट टॉक टू योर फ्रेंड्स ओवर हियर If you want to do that, leave the class, come back later and watch a recorded video, right? Yes, चलिए. So just for our friends who have just joined us right now, we are talking about Mandal Commission. We are talking about the Mandal Commission. So this was formed. This came in the year nineteen seventy nine under Moraji. the sai he was at that time at uh, under his government rule we saw that this commission was formed and the intent was this commission uh, or the intent of the government was to find find ways to uplift right to uplift the socially and educationally backward class class are we clear so after the after the whole study right what the mandal commission gave as a suggestion that we should have 27 percentage of the reservation in the civil services are we clear this is what we have studied till now are we clear yes are we clear yes we you mostly use the language english over here here and there i might explain you in hindi but that's not a mode of communication we have in majority right okay chaliye so we were now moving ahead what happened after that it took a lot of years right from 1979 to 1990 lot of years was there so what was happening at that time between that and everyone we have a very interesting story so after after that lot of people protested they were like very angry there were two different group one was supporting that yes we should have the reservation the other group was not in favor of the reservation they said that they said that kare bhai there are so many people who are not socially and educationally backward 
right? Why we should give, in, give them the reservation, right? They were like, we, you are taking the equal opportunity from us. So there were lots and lots of debate between the two parties. Few of them were in favor of the reservation. Few of them were against the reservation. What had happened? Let's take a look everyone over here. During that time only, during when all of these controversies and all of these, uh, you know, planning and these uh, information was passed on, we saw that something changed, right? Something definitely changed. So let's take a look over here. Those of you who are saying to explain me model commission once again, I just did it. You can go back and listen and come back again. So the government of India, everyone appointed the second backward class commission in the year 1979. You just said it, right? It was headed by the BP Mandal and hence the commission is popularly called, called as the Mandal Commission. Those of you, please do pay attention now. It was asked to determine the criteria to identify the social and ed educational backward classes in India and recommend the steps to take them in their advantages and of course to help them up up uplift. The commission gave the report in the year 1980 and they suggested that 27% of the government jobs should be reserved for socially and educationally backward classes. Everyone, are we clear? Are we clear? Mandal Commission kab bana? Unka kya intent tha aur unhone kya bola? Teen cheez is page pe aagai. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot everyone. Right? We are clear with this? Very good. Chali. Now let's talk about ke what happened and what, why it took so many years. What we saw that in the year Lok Sabha Right, sorry, in the year 1989, Lok Sabha elections were held, right? In the year 18, 1989, 1979, the commission was formed. The report came in, in the year 1980 and the elections are happening in the year 1989. We can still see so much of the gap. So during the election of 1989, right? Janta Dal Party's president, V.P. Singh, at that particular time, the main leader said that if we won the election, we will make sure that the Mandal Commission ka jo report tha will come into the action. Everyone, are we clear? What did the V.P. Singh said? He said that if we, if my party will win the election, I will make sure that Mandal Commission will come into the action. Based upon that, apart from the other, uh, you know, other promises, he made this promise also. And fortunately, they won the election and in the year 1990 only, right, we saw the action, right, the Mandal Commission came into the action. Everyone, are we clear? Are we clear? Right, it came into the action. Yes, there is equality in India, definitely. Thank you, Harish. Thank you so much, Bache. Okay, chaliye, right? So what we saw, the commission came into the action. And let's see, what happened at that particular time? Do we have some, 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 some recaps? Please do take a look over here. What had happened? The president of India, in this address, president parliament announced the intent of the government and the implementation, implementation of the Mandal Commission. So first thing first, everyone, Right? What had happened after VP Singh said, I want to pass this law or I want to pass this particular uh, commission. What happened first? They told, par they told the president, they told president that we want to pass this, right? And we want to implement the Mandal Commission. On 6 August 1990, the union cabinet took right a formal decision for the recommendation and for the impl implementation. Prime Minister V.P. Singh informed the Parliament about the decision. In both the state, in both the houses, the statement was said, right? The decision of the cabinet was sent to the Department of the Personal and Training, and the senior department and the senior of the department put a signature, and that's how it got approved in the year 13 August 1990. Everyone, are we clear? Yes, everyone, are we clear? Harish, he was, he was there as a Prime Minister of a country for, for a very brief period of time. Everyone, are we clear? Yes, this all had happened. This all had happened. This is not that important, but yeah, it's very important for us to understand. How did it happen? Yes, VP Singh said that we 
इसको बंडल कमीशन को एक्शन में लेके आएंगे हम इम्प्लीमेंट करेंगे उन्होंने पहले प्रेसिडेंट को बोल दिया उन्होंने बोला कि ये हमारी इच्छा है कि हम ऐसा करें फिर उन्होंने क्या किया कैबिनेट बुलाई कैबिनेट के साथ में बैठ के कैबिनेट में मिनिस्टर्स रहते हैं उनके साथ में बैठ के डिस्कशन किया फिर बोथ द हाउस इज लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा में वोटिंग हुई और सबका वोट मिलने के बाद में प्रेसिडेंट के पास में गया फिर उसके बाद में जो जो इंपॉर्टेंट डिपार्टमेंट था डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द पर्सन एंड द ट्रेनिंग उनके पास में गया एंड फ्रॉम देयर इट केम इन टू अर्कुलर एंड दैट्स हाउ इट गॉट इम्प्लीमेंटेड इट्स देयर टिल नाउ ऑल्सो सो एवरी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर टू अंडरस्टैंड के हाउ how one small decision right it's not that if the prime minister is saying yes or if the president is saying yes it can come into the action no in a system like that we have in a country not one institution is responsible for all what we understand from all of this ye hum abhi jo humne pura padha uska matlab kya hai what do you understand by the mandal commission it this particular case study tells us that that each and every segment that we have right is responsible they are working together they cannot work independent right if the president says ki acha i want i don't i will not be supporting this do you think it's not possible if the house if the both the houses uh, both the people all the mlas in the houses lok sabha and rajya sabha said no we don't want to vote do you think the law can be passed no right this is very important for us to understand why why the working of the institution is super important and that's to all together right so we are clear with this mandal commission what was mandal commission why it was formed and how the vp singh prime minister at that particular time made sure to keep his promise now furthermore we saw a court case also we saw court case also it's a very famous uh court case everyone there was a court case between the union of india right basically the union of india against the government we have indra swarni right she and of course with other people filed a case against the union of india the case was of course we can we have two parties Indra was saying that we should not have the reservation, whereas the Union of India, the government is saying that reservation is good. So they went to the Supreme Court. Where they went, everyone? They went to the Supreme Court, the highest court that we have in our country, right? In that court, eleven judges were there. Who were there to make the? Who were there to listen to the arguments and who were there to give the judgment all together? So what happened as the case went to the Supreme Court, right? It took few years, and in the year 1992, they declared the Supreme Court said that the law is absolutely correct, right? The government of India was valid. They said that the Mandal Commission, right, the, the implementation of it is absolutely correct. But they said that you can change here and there few things, and what are those things? Very important. what was their recommendation they actually modify the original order and they said that people who are well to do for example it could be that there are individuals who were socially and educationally backward at one point of time but with their hard work and with the opportunities they have grown financially and they are very well educated now those people right if they falling under this they will be getting the reservation and they will be going ahead but they will be stopping the growth of the other people who does not have more of the money and the education so government said that the people who are well to do so will not be under this category of reservation this is only meant for the people who are financially insecure right or financially not that independent and in the education also they are this day does not have received they did not receive any good education Are we clear? Are we clear? तो गवर्नमेंट ने क्या बोला उन्होंने ये बोला कि जिनके पास में पैसा है जिनके पास में अच्छी एजुकेशन है वो इस रिजर्वेशन कैटेगरी के लिए एप्लीकेबल नहीं है द ओनली पीपल हु आर एप्लीकेबल राइट वो लोग जिनके पास में उतने पैसे नहीं है या फिर उन्हें उतनी एजुकेशन नहीं मिली है उनको अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलनी चाहिए इस रिजर्वेशन की एवरी वन आर वी क्लियर दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड इसीलिए right this came into the action in the year 18 no, sorry 8 september 1993 right clear ye dispute khatam ho gaya tha and we follow this this particular implementation now also 
सो अगेन इट केम इन टू दर पहले आया किस में नाइनटीन नाइनटी नाइन में ओके वॉट इट हैपन इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन वी सॉ दर्मेशन ऑफ मंडल कमीशन यस राइट फिर ऑफ कॉर्स इन दर नाइनटीन एटी रिपोर्ट जनरेशन राइट दे जनरेटेड दी रिपोर्ट यस एंड देन ऑफ कॉर्स इन नाइनटीन एटी नाइन में वॉट हैपन VP Singh promised, right? VP Singh ji promised to implement it. Yes, everyone, right? Clear? And then, of course, in the year nineteen ninety, it was implemented. But of course, later we saw the court case, and again it came into the picture finally in the year nineteen ninety three. Everyone, are we clear? Hello, hello. I can see so many of you are here. Bye, bye. Hello, Priya. Yes, Astha. Har Simran, Mamta, Neelam. Yes, Pragati, Abhimanyu, Saloni, Darshan. Right, chali. So everyone, are we clear up to here? Right. Let's move ahead and let's talk about the next important part of this chapter, which is the legislation or the legislative. Right. Yes. Very, very important part. Hello Lakshmi. Hello Shivali. Right. Now let's talk about it, everyone. Who do you think will be over here? Right. Who will come over here? Or which part of the government will be discussing over here? Lawmaking body. Very good, Pragati. In the lawmaking body, everyone, who we have? Right. Who are the people who make law in our country? Yes. Who are the people who make law in the country? Very good. Very good. See, we are the one who elect our leaders, and leaders go there, and of course, they are the one who actually make the law. And laws are made in the parliament. Absolutely correct. So laws are made in the parliament, everyone, right? And of course, in parliament, we have two houses: Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. So let's take a look, everyone. The parliament is a national assembly of the elected representatives that we have. that exercise a supreme political authorities on behalf of people of india so on be on our behalf we have the political leaders who are there in the parliament representing us and they hold the political authority right they hold the political authority to make the laws very very important first thing they are the one who make the law change the law or abolish the law they are the one who control who will run the government particularly the prime minister and the cabinet in particular so example everyone we know that if ministers are there right all together they will be voting for the prime minister right so they will keep an eye on it kacha bhai if this is a good candidate for cabinet or not yes then of course they plays a very important role in how the money is spent right and they will be acting as a highest forum of debate over the laws and policies and they are the one who will be influencing major policies decision four important things everyone in your textbook also they have mentioned four important points first first is this right that all over the world may we know that parliament is very very important and they are the one who will be making the laws changing the laws abolishing the laws they are the one who will be keeping a check right that who is running the government and how is it the government is run we have the opposition also right who will be questioning the working of the government whether they are working correctly or not then of course we have the ruling party right so both of these parties will be having lots of debate and discussion lots of debate and discussion on the policies that they are making apart from that in parliament only everyone we see that the important decision related to the money are taken over there right and it is the highest forum where we can debate where we can see people debate about the laws and the policies before they are made so let me ask you one thing everyone how many of you are here i can see that so many of you are here in the class let me ask you one thing let's suppose if i ask you we have team a and we have team b right and i want you to let's suppose i am in team a right i am in team a I want all of us to go to. I want all of us to go to a place. Let's suppose, uh, uh, let's suppose, 
any place, right? Yeah, I want all of us to come to go to Bangalore. Yes. Now, team B says they don't, they don't want to go to Bangalore. They want to go to Jaipur. And if in team A also, if there are few people who are saying they want to go to Jaipur, do you think I can convince people to go to Bangalore? No, right? The majority lies over there. Similarly, similarly, in our parliament, the things work on the majority, right? The things work on the majority. We have ruling party who have won the election, right? The prime minister is there from that particular party. And we have the cabinet minister who will be helping in making the laws and the policies. Then we have opposition party who will question the government. Why you are doing this? What is the reason behind it? Why this policy? Why not that policy? Etc. Etc. Clear? So are we clear about the legislation or the legislative? Right everyone? Are we clear up to here? Yes? The legislation. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Clear right? Chali. So we are clear with this and this is how we have seen that the laws are made. The Mandal Commission was a clear proof of it, right? It came in the year, formation was there of the Mandal Commission in 1979. Submission of the report was in, in the year 18, 1980. But it came into the implementation in the year 1990. So it took a lot of time, right? Yes, it took a lot of time. And that's, it happened the parliament only. P after getting the votes from the people only, this law was passed. Easy peasy, right everyone? This policy was passed. So we can say that both the houses, both the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha plays a very, very important role. Okay? Let me ask you a very interesting question, everyone. Yes? Yes, Pragati, it is, it is. Let me ask you, which house do you think is more powerful? We have two houses. Houses of Chamber, sometimes we say we have two houses, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha. Lok Sabha is called as Lower House, right? Lok Sabha is also called as Lower House. And Rajya Sabha is also called as Upper House. Which of these houses you feel that is more powerful? Which of these houses has more power? I can see few answers going for Rajya Sabha and few of going for Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha. Oh, I can see many of you saying, ma'am, Rajya Sabha. Few of you are still saying Lok Sabha. Achha. Okay. Very good. Now, let me tell you. Okay. Um, how many members we have in Lok Sabha? Jaldi say. Everyone, how many members we have in Lok Sabha? 545 approximately. The number keeps very, but this is the number. Right? 45 or 43? Yes, 45 or 43. I'm just writing over here. Right? Yes? 45 or 43. That's the number we have. Like a rough odd number. And in Rajya Sabha, we have approximately 445. Right? That's roughly. Numbers definitely keep on changing. Yes, yes. What we have... Okay, you can write in the comment section and tell me. Now, this is something that you have to find and tell me. I'm leaving it up to you guys. Yes? Okay, chali. So, we have more number of members in Lok Sabha and less number of people in the Rajya Sabha. Lok Sabha has the people who are directly elected by us. For example, if I have voted for an individual, probably they will be here. Right? And they, will, they are the one who will be making, making policies and laws. So, Lok Sabha, when we have the people who are directly elected. Whereas in Rajya Sabha, we have members who are indirectly elected. In terms of the power, Lok Sabha is more powerful. Even though, even though we have upper house is called as Rajya Sabha, but does not have much of the power. All the laws and policies are taken care by Lok Sabha. Right? Whereas Rajas, Rajya Sabha will be working for all the state and the union territories. Clear everyone? Are we clear? Yes? That's very important for us to remember. So Lok Sabha is definitely more powerful than Rajya Sabha. The decisions are more likely to prevail in a joint session. Just in case, if both the houses are not agreeing, right? Both the houses will come together and then they will have a discussion and that's how the bill will pass.
Okay? Passing budget plays a very important role over here. Lok Sabha have more control in the over the government and can dissolve the government also. Everyone, I can see that. Right? Many first are asking them why Lok Sabha is more powerful. See, Lok Sabha is more powerful. First of all, it has people who are elected by us. They are the one who is directly making the laws and policies. Definitely from there it will go to the Rajya Sabha and then to the president. But, but the important formation is there in the Lok Sabha, right? And Lok Sabha have a power to pass the bills and to uh, have policies on the money. Where Rajya Sabha have nothing over there. Rajya Sabha will not be able to control the, uh, control the government, will not be able to have any control on the matters of the money. Whereas, whereas Lok Sabha definitely have that control. Everyone, are we clear? No, Shrivalli, no. See, President, see, Prime Minister is there in Lok Sabha. President, you think about it. President is the head of the state. Right, he's at the very top. Definitely both the houses are definitely have some connection for the president. But he is not the one who is coming and sitting there. Right? Clear everyone? Okay. So, if any law has to pass, right, it has to pass from Lok Sabha and then to the Rajya Sabha. If Lok Sabha have passed the bill and Rajya Sabha is not being able to do that, again the voting will happen and they will have a joint session. Clear? In the term, in, in a place where we cannot have a decision, we'll, we'll see a joint session where Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha people will sit together and then they will vote. Okay. Now everyone, let's move ahead to the next part. Yes. Now I'll wait everyone. If you have any doubts, please do ask me. Ma'am, in some cases of Lok Sabha have taken a decision, Raj cannot change it. Ha. Very good. Yes, Mahima. In our cases of money, right? We cannot. Rajya Sabha will not be able to change. Ma'am, we have played a monk, acha, mock parliament. Nice, very good, very good. So everyone, are we clear up to here how the parliament is working? Parliament is where the laws are made, right? The policies are made. These policies and laws are made by ministers who are elected by us. Definitely we have civil servants over there who will be helping. But the ministers are the representatives of us. So they are the one who will be making it. They are, they are the one who will be taking the last call. Jyoti because, right, they are elected. See, uh, Rajya Sabha does not have much powers also. Rajya Sabha is elected indirectly. Like, of course, they, the members are not directly elected by us. But definitely based upon their achievements, based upon their work, right, they are elected. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, if in the terms of money, Rajya Sabha, no, that's not a case. That's that, that's a reason. Rajya Sabha, Rajya Sabha does not have that power. Arvind, see, it's not that she is not a part of the parliament. She is the head of it. Everyone, we should understand that everyone that the president of the country, right, is the head of the state. All the official documents, everything. Every law, every policy, every international trade, whatever is happening, any international uh, peace treaty, any treaty which is signed will have the involvement of the president's signature, right? Because he is a head of the state. But in terms of the control, we know that in our, in our country, in our country, if you look at it, the prime minister does not have that many power. Do you think that the president of a country can go and... Uh, can uh, can actually uh, can go and vote uh, sorry can can actually go out and can ask for the votes for one particular candidate do you think that the very uh, they're at a very higher position i'm sure all of you can relate the president to the queen that we have in england i'm sure you all remember yes yes everyone are we clear yes it's sst why we have executive and parliament in biology, I don't know. <laughs> yes, so we can consider president as at that place. Okay. After the bill which is passed from the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha will be going to the president only for the final signature. President can send it back also. After 14 days it will have to go back. 
if lok sabha have approved president has to approve okay that is a very important thing that we have in our constitution clear everyone so the president in uh, in total does not have the all the power right even though on the paper okay even if we have let me give you an example even let's suppose um let's suppose in your right uh, let's suppose in your house right in your house for example uh, they we have usually one condition right we have elder siblings or we have younger siblings right so if elder siblings have said can i want to eat aloo ka paratha today so your mom or your dad will make aloo ka paratha some we, i'm sure you would have seen majority of the time younger siblings right will not be able to get what they want or or vice versa both the cases are possible right similarly the president of a country right even though they have so much power but they work in accordance with the council of minister right and with the houses lok sabha and the rajya sabha they don't have their direct direct power and the control over it yes chaliye so we are done with the two topics we are done with the mandal commission right and we are done with the legislation we are done with the uh how the laws are made right and why they are important and other, other things we'll talk about the executive acha we have laws and policies do you think that we need someone to execute it what do you want someone to execute these laws yes or no what is the meaning of executive the one who will make sure the things are implemented see i can say that you know what everyone every monday at 5 pm we will have class right but to execute it we need so many so much of support right from the back end we have to see whether the studio will be there we have to see we have the time slot we have so many things to plan right so even though the laws are made laws are made over here the execution part of it who will take the responsibility of executing it who will make sure the laws are correctly followed right is the executive so let's understand everyone over here so over here we'll discuss about the executive right we have at different levels all together right we have ex prime minister vp singh over here right and of course we have a government officer so we have two types of executive there are two people who will be taking responsibility of at various level we have people who are responsible for implementing policies and overlooking day to day administration so they are the one who will be calling as the executive executive they are the one who are responsible for implementing the policies and will be taking a look at the day to day administration we have two categories over here we have political executive and then we have permanent executive political one are the one that comes after every election if they if their party win the election they are there if the party if the party is not there of course they will not be able to stay at that particular position whereas we have the permanent executive who are the ias officers right ips officers etc etc the civil services they are the one who are permanent executive they are the permanent member they are the permanent people in the system right they are the one who will be they are the one who are more educated right they are the one who will be helping in providing their expert advice right and they are the one who will not be answering to the people political executed or the one who are elected by us they are temporary or for a fixed period of time exercise the will of the pe people and answerable to the people right yes very good see political executive can we remove them jaldi se batao political executive people can we remove them yes we can right we can easily remove them based upon how they are working right how they are working they promise ki i will do this i will do that i will do this but after the election nothing so people will say we will not vote for you whereas the permanent executive are the one who are doing their job right who are very very hard working who are very very well educated they have they are the expert so they will be telling the ministers okay see this 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 we have this is a condition we can have this policy now the final call of course always is on the minister they will think about it they will then take a call 
clear everyone but every political executive decisions that we have right every political policies every law and policies that we have in terms of the economics defense budget every place we have these officers right uh, the civil servants we usually say them right we have civil services and they are the one who will be making these policies will be suggesting these policies to the people to the political leaders and then of course they are the one who will be picking up these policies everyone are we clear are we clear that is a reason everyone i'm sure you would have seen people write the upsc exam that is a reason people spend so many years they work really very hard to clear this exam because if if one becomes a civil servant that means that they can do so much for the country right if one of you is a ias officer or is so well versed with the economics or with the laws of the country if they feel that this is not correct they can actually do something about it it's a very very prestigious job so everyone if you are, if you feel like that you want to be a part of it so read more about it become more aware about it yes clear okay so we have the executed everyone do take a screenshot of this how much our chapter pura ho jayega yes we'll be able to finish up this whole chapter today take a screenshot everyone clear so we have two people political executive and the permanent executive if we talk about it in political executive we have two we have the prime minister and the council of minister and then we have the president let's talk about the prime minister everyone first so prime minister is the head of the government we all know after the elections after the election after the elections of the lok sabha the general election we will be able to see that there will be a one leader right and he will be given the position of the prime minister his party will elect right a party will elect one leader and he will be the prime minister now he is a head of the state sorry he is a head of the government really sorry for the slip of the tongue head of the state is president head of the government is prime minister right most important political institution the government right and of course it will be talking about or aiding by the council of minister prime minister ke saath mein we will have council of ministers also we will have different ministers right who will be handling different ministry health ministry defense ministry budget uh, finance ministry right education ministry etc 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 so the prime minister is the head of the government and then of course we have different types of ministers right we have cabinet ministers now cabinet minister everyone uh, we can have to up to a number of right um, we have different council of ministers right um, and in cabinet ministers we usually have those ministers which will be holding major major ministries like defense ministry health ministry finance ministry they are very very close to the prime minister in terms of the working they will be in direct contact with the prime minister right then we have ministers ministers of the state with the independent charge small small ministries right and then we will have the ministry of the states again subordinates of the ministry of the uh, independent charge right ministry of the state of the independent charge this is how there is the separation everyone are we clear okay ma'am you are saying dolly is saying ma'am please make a video theek hai okay bachche it's there on the channel you can watch thank you so much but you can watch it on the channel yes okay are we clear right the cabinet minister the inner rings can have up to 25 members right clear ma'am what if the fellow members pro protest against the appointed ha so of course he will not be then they have to do the uh election again in terms of which which leader they want to make as a as a prime minister yes chalanya we will be having a video on the climate really very soon people do resources also will be there now in some countries president are more powerful and in some prime minister ha huh. so it is based upon the government bachche right and it is based purely on the government in our country of course president prime minister has more of the power but i'm sure if you look at the example of usa they they uh, the president holds the more and more power yes okay clear everyone are we clear yes everyone are we clear yes ma'am what are the minister of states ma'am 
Minister of State, right? Minister of State are definitely the ministers who will be helping the cabinet ministers, subordinates, right? They will be helping in the, uh, they will be help, helping the cabinet ministers. See, cabinet ministers are the one who are there at the top, right? Who will be in direct contact with the prime minister, will be meeting, will be discussing other things. We have Ministry of State with independence charge, Chota 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 Ministries and Ministry of State are the one who will be directly helping the cabinet ministers. Are we clear? Yes? Okay. Got it right? BTS Army, I hope that you, you have your understanding. Yes, very good. Okay. So after this everyone, we are clear that we have Prime Minister, right? And then we have Council of Ministers, right? And that also we have different categories. The power of the Prime Minister is what? Head of the cabinet meeting, appoints important ministers, right? Coordinate between different departments, supervise the working of different ministries, can remove ministers who are unable to fulfill their duties and the entire council stands dissolved if the prime minister resigns. So let's suppose that the prime minister resigns. What will happen to its cabinet? They also have to resign. They are also saying, okay, Tata, bye-bye. Yes, Mahima, I think... Um, it could be that you are in a, you know, probably you have started learn, you are studying the political science or the civics part. Abhi, people, right? People, people like you and me will be voting in the elections, right? And we will be electing a leader. That leader, MP, right? Member of parliament, that leader will be sitting in the Lok Sabha, right? And the member of the Lok Sabha will be choosing, especially the ruling party, the, the people who have won the election, internally in their party, they will be electing a leader. And that leader will be the Prime Minister. So we can say that, if you look at the campaigns that we have in our country and in other countries, you will see that the main leader is always out there. We always vote for the leader. Even if, let's suppose, let's suppose we have this area, right? And okay, over here, A is, A is working. Okay, let me just put it over here. Everyone, this is the area, right? This is the area. This is the area A. Okay, and in this area, small A is working. This small A belongs to the party, right? Party Jalebi. Right, and the people in this particular area loves Jalebi. So even if the A person does not like the Jalebi or the people are not aware about it, they will still vote for the Jalebi because they are doing good job, right? If this Jalebi party is doing good job, right, it's very good, so the people will be voting for this party. Clear everyone? Are we clear? Or this particular leader? Are we clear? Yes. Yes, everyone will vote for the Jalebi party. So similarly, right, similarly, what happens? For example, if you and me are going to vote, probably the candidate that is standing at from the one particular party is not the one, like I'm, I'm not very fan of that particular person, but I'm a fan of the par party who is working, right? I'm very, I'm huge fan of the party policies. So I will vote, I will vote for the party. Clear? Yes? I'm voting for the person only, right? Even though I'm not much aware about it, but I'm sure that, okay, the... The political party the leader has spoken about so many policies and laws, so probably I'll vote for it. Please, this is how the people actually pick up their um, votes, right? This is how they vote. Are we clear? Are we clear, everyone? Good. So, we have spoken about the preceded, uh, Prime Minister. So, do you have any doubt? Ma'am, what can we do if our MP is not responding to my area properly? So what happens, right? We can definitely have more complaints about it. But if there is any extreme case, definitely we can take an action. The We can file a case. But in the next election, you can not vote for them, right? That's an easy way. Uh, Arvind, that's one thing bache, we can do about it. We can complain, definitely we can take them to the court also. But uh, the way of changing, definitely if there's any very strong thing ever happened, very uh, controversial thing will happen, they can be removed. But if not, in the next election, again the people will have the power. That's why the bol is liye to bola jata hai ke kursi ka fair, uh, you know, khel hai. Every four years, every five years, sorry, we will see the change. Yes? 
That's nice, Priya. That's nice. Are we clear, everyone? Can we move ahead? Can we move ahead to the next part? Good. So we are done talking about the prime minister. Let's talk about the president, right? Let's talk about the president. President is the head of the state. All the government activities are carried out by their name, by the president name. Makes appointment of the important government office, right? Gives assist to laws passed by the parliament. Put a signature on the laws which are passed by the parliament. Appoints the prime minister. Very, very important thing. He, president is the one who will be appointing the prime minister. Then, the prime minister, right, is super important. But president is very, very important, right? The president is the head of the state. Elected indirectly, right? President act on the advice of the Prime Minister and the Council of Minister. And the President is a ceremonial head. Everyone are we clear? Yes. Page Noor mostly in the general elections, right? Yes. Everyone are we clear? Are we clear? Yes, everyone are we clear with this? Okay. Let me ask you a question everyone. The executive is composed of dash and dash executive. Political, temporary, strong, weak, political, permanent, none of the above. Easy peasy question. Ma'am, can we say that a president is the head of the executive? What do you think about? Head of the executive. Here we have the question. President ko bache we say head of the state altogether. Head of the state means everything is above. Right? Basically, president is there above. Above all of these. Yes? but does not have any power to function. The president will be working in accordance with the prime minister and the council of ministers. Okay. The last part everyone, the last part of this chapter, that is the judiciary. Sabse the easiest topic is judiciary. Now judiciary are the people who will be making sure that laws are made, made and that's how the law of people are following these, right? All the courts in the country functioning at different levels put together the Indian judiciary system. We have Supreme Court, High Court, Session Courts and the District Court. Right? The administrative part, justice wala part is taken care by the judiciary. Yes? Clear everyone? Yes, this is a very very important part. Whatever laws are being made, right? Whatever uh, the policies are passed, right? Now has to be checked whether it's following properly or not. That will be taken care by the judiciary, right? The administrative justice and make sure that the implementation of the laws is fair and just, right? Supreme Court being the apex court control, controls the judiciary administration of the subordinate court. Supreme Court is the highest, right? And in the Supreme Court only we saw the uh, case, Indra versus the Union of Union of India in the year 1992. Supreme Court, right? Supreme Court is the highest court that we have in our country, right? So what we have, it ha definitely have the so much power, right? So we have the judicially review. We have so many actions, right? And one of the important thing about over here in the, um, you know, in the judiciary is that it can actually uh, put some action against the government also. It's not that, that it cannot take action against the government. It can. Supreme Court can definitely take action against the government. Can take action against the people in the country, even if they're at a very higher position. So, judicial review is happening, right? Judge, judges are there who will be keeping a check. Then, public interest allegation, right, can be issued against the government also. In any action or law heard for the public interest. And it's a guardian of the fundamental rights. All the fundamental rights that we have, right. Every right can be protected with the help of the Supreme Court, right. It is independent. This is very, very important thing for us to understand that this is independent. The president appoints the judge and the chief justice of the Supreme Court on the advice of Prime Minister and of the Council of Minister. In practice, new judges of the Supreme Court and the High Court judges are elected by the senior judges of the Supreme Court can only be removed by an impeachment motion. If they feel that they have done something wrong, then only they can be removed. So they are very, very independent body. 
so everyone with that we can say that we have three major major institute that we have we have the legislation the executive and the judiciary right the executive are the one who will be making sure the things needs to be followed like the prime minister right? the civil servants right clear everyone arvind yes yes very good. executive head we can say government only right government indirectly yes the prime minister yes because he is the one who will be controlling uh, who has more power in the lok sabha yes everyone are we clear are we clear can we have a very quick summary chaliye yes here we go everyone the legislation right task with making of the laws changing and and abolishing the laws decide upon how public money is spent right it's a forum where the you know it's a forum where the uh, debates on the policies and the laws can happen has full and direct control on the government right parliament has two houses lok sabha and the rajya sabha more power towards the lok sabha then the executive part we have studied these people are responsible for implementation of the policies right and maintaining the day to day administration we have political executive ministers they are not permanent they can be easily changed right and they are answerable to the people where we have the political uh, permanent executive civil servants right uh, permanent provide expert advice and they are not answerable to the people then we have prime minister and president everyone take a screenshot prime minister head of the cabinet me meeting coordinates between different departments head of the government can reshuffle appointments of the ministers can dissolve the entire council by resigning and plays a very very important role in supervising the different ministry president head of the head of the state make important appointments all government activities are carried out by their name right give us a sign give a full fledged sign full fledged uh, you know sahmati if the laws are being passed right by the parliament and he's the one who he or she is the one who will be appointing the prime minister last but not the least we have the judiciary where we have different courts supreme court is the highest court in our country where right people can go and if even if have they have issues with the government they can file a case against them supreme court right these judiciary system will be helping in protecting our fundamental rights yes everyone clear everyone are we clear so with this we are done with this chapter are we clear everyone are we clear can i give you a homework question are we clear yes yes everyone are we clear now are you the pro now jaldi se mujhe batao are you the pro now kaju katli clear wa wow. let me search for a question easy question i'll give you very good okay let's a very very technical question everyone why why do you think the prime minister is not directly elected by people everyone i have wanted to write the answer for this particular question in the comment section below why do you think that the prime minister of a country right is not directly elected by the people why for example if i am the individual why i am not voting for one particular person why all of why all of us have different candidates all together yes think about it everyone and write the answer in the comment section below everyone are we clear and of course the best answer we'll discuss and we'll will have it on the community post also clear yes mayima thank you for answering over here bachche but you have to answer in the 
video after the video is completely done in the comment section below there you answer okay yes are we clear everyone kaju katli clear chaliye so everyone in the comment section write and tell me that how you, are you the pro now of this chapter yes give yourself stars out of 5 stars how many stars you will give write in the comment section also so with that everyone i will say bye bye do take care of yourself pinky promise ke ncert read karoge i will tell this in every each and every class read n c e r t please make sure you read the ncert right ncert is super important so please read the ncert once and then you will be the master of the of this particular chapter right creative diaries yes bachche which is finishing off okay everyone so with this we are done with the chapter i hope that all of you have completely understood the chapter right and will be answering the question that i have asked in the comment section below we'll be meeting next time everyone till that time do take care of yourself and keep on learning with by juice lots of love to each one of you will be meeting really very soon everyone bye 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 harpreet afraz mahima creative ideas if so many of you are here bye bye everyone we'll see uh, we'll meet you all really very soon bye everyone harpreet henel priya yes anushka aastha it is important to read ssc absolutely chali everyone bye bye